today's devotional can be found in Second Corinthians chapter one, verse seven. And our hope of you is steadfast, knowing that as ye are partakers of the sufferings, ye sh so shall ye also be also of the consolation. So the we, uh, the R, is talking about God and Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost, the Godhead. And their hope in us to be able to utilize what we have been given. And we have talents and spiritual gifts and everything, every opportunity we have been given. Their hope of us to do that is, is very steadfast. It's constant. It's knowing. It's a uh, knowing hope because... Because they know we'll make mistakes. And then... <coughs> oh. They know we'll make mistakes, but... They also know that the atonement is there for us to be able to repent. That we might be able to do better. And that the atonement is not just for our sins, it's also for our pains and afflictions as well. And that leaning on it for strength can get us through the sufferings that we will no doubt partake of in our mortal existence. Because everybody's going to go through trials. Whether it be to test our faith or whether it be through choices of our own or We will all partake of sufferings in this life. Although we can't necessarily avoid the sufferings, we can make it easier. By turning to God and praying for strength and then ask, additionally asking that we might be able to lean on the strength of the atonement for courage to keep going. Because some of the sufferings are downright awful. But we have the opportunity. I mean, the atonement gave us hope for a better eternal tomorrow, yes. But the atonement can also give us hope, the hope we need to get through the trials and the sufferings that we'll partake of in our lifetimes. And that is what it means by, so shall ye be also of the consolation. Yes, we partake of sufferings, but through the atonement of Jesus Christ, we can also be of the consolation in that we can receive strength and courage. And we can also have the Jesus Christ carry us through our darkest hours that we might be able to see the light again. And that is what it's that is what it means by consolation. Because, I mean, Christ knows, God and Christ know, and the Holy Ghost knows, but we are all just trying to get by. We are all just trying to do our best. And they are offering us opportunities of strength and courage that we may continue to do our best through the suffering that we might be able to feel some consolation in our trials and that we might not feel so alone. They're offering us hope to be able to make it to a better tomorrow as well as hope for a better tomorrow. But it's everybody's choice. They, ha Everybody has the free choice about whether or not they want to be able to accept the help and the offered hope. You know, and God and Jesus Christ respect them. They're not going to force you. But know this, hope, taking the hope when it's offered sure makes it a lot easier to get through the sufferings and embrace the consolation of that which we go through in life. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.